The dollar is stronger than ever. It recently hit a two-decade high versus the euro and is hovering around parity. That is, one dollar equals one euro. The last time that happened was in 2002. For years, the dollar has been between $1.10 and $1.25 to the euro. Two things changed the equation. First, the U.S. Federal Reserve started hiking interest rates. Higher interest rates on U.S. currency makes the dollar more valuable versus other global currencies. At least for the time being, the U.S. Federal Reserve is well ahead of the European Central Bank in raising interest rates. Second, Russia restricted natural gas deliveries to Europe due to Europe's support of Ukraine. That has energy prices surging in Europe and casts a cloud over their economic outlook. Investors fled to U.S. dollar assets as a safe haven. As a result of these forces, the euro is down 16% versus the dollar this year. That's like getting a 16% discount on your purchases in Europe. Flights and hotels are still more expensive than a year ago due to strong demand, but the real benefit is on your local purchases once you arrive in Europe. Meals, taxis, and many luxury goods, such as cosmetics and clothing, are on sale. To get the best exchange rates, travelers should use an ATM to withdraw local currency, and if given a choice when using a credit card, choose to transact in the local currency versus the dollar. It's not clear if the dollar can strengthen more, most analysts believe any additional move will be minor compared to what we've seen so far this year. That means it's probably a good idea to book your European trip now and lock in the strong exchange rate. The US dollar is also up versus the Canadian dollar, British pound, Mexican peso, Australian dollar, and Japanese yen. It's the best time in years to travel internationally. Just book it.